सपोर्ट भारत वी सपोर्ट भारत इंडिया वी सपोर्ट इंडिया वी सपोर्ट इंडिया वी सपोर्ट इंडिया वी सपोर्ट मोदी जी वी सपोर्ट मोदी जी वी सपोर्ट मोदी जी मोदी जी मोदी सपोर्ट मोदी जी वी सपोर्ट and you have to fight out all these misinformed uh, opposition to it so this actually provides solace to the thousands of refugees who have been persecuted because they are minorities in three countries basically Pakistan Bangladesh and Afghanistan so they couldn't even lead a simple life with dignity out there so they they were persecuted daily day in and day out and they had no other option other than to run away to india and they are here stateless and if the indian government does not provide them with this support then it would be heartless i am very pained at the mainstream media for uh, projecting this in a very different light and a lot of people being misguided by all these various misinformation campaigns that are happening online and in the mainstream media so i'm here to show my support as a, an indian american as part of the community here and that i support the indian government's actions to support uh, to basically provide citizenship to all these refugees i believe if the main reason for opposing caa in india is political many people are opposed to bjp for whatever reason but right now because bjp government has brought this bill or this act they want to oppose it in fact this bill does not take this act does not take away anybody's citizenship right uh, india our uh, aim is that the true message of ca act is passed and the motive behind it is correctly uh, passed on to the people uh, we believe that india is a national homeland of uh, all hindus say buddhist jain and uh, uh, india has always supported minorities with it in india and it is our duty to support the persecuted minorities living outside india now this act uh, will definitely prove beneficial to the hundreds and thousands of persecuted minorities living outside india and has nothing to do with any uh, other individual uh, or it does not take away rights of any other individual thank you thank you spreading the knowledge uh, across indians and americans how how it is so minority and how it is for the whole humanity it is not about uh, excluding it is including those who doesn't have who are deprived so it's just like making that awareness there are a lot of misconceptions so this really is just to remove those misconceptions well you know we talk about uh, the tension between uh, pakistan uh, and india and it's been an ongoing uh, thing but uh, what uh, islamabad is upset about what's going on but what they don't want to talk about is the various persecuted minorities such as christians such as hindus such as sheep and uh you know so for that reason you know india really has opened its hearts and its doors to these minorities uh you know and also uh we understand that you know india says you know we uh, we want to be a secular uh, nation and that's all well and good but we also in being a secular nation we also need to protect our religious founding and certainly india has a proud tradition of hinduism and uh, so we want to protect that but also the fact that reaching out to these other persecuted minorities is so important and uh, muslims have a place to go there's many many countries uh, they are not being persecuted like these other faith groups in fact uh, there's one of your temples now uh, that's uh, being attacked and there's talk about that as well so you know we need to be on the vigilance and let's face it It's good to be let's say you want to be a secular society that's fine but you know what it's your religion your faith that really is the basis of one's family and the basis of one's structure and that's what we saw in the United States and sound like the United States were becoming too secular i mean there's an element of that but there's also a need to have that religious grounding and india is rallying around its hindu faith and i think that's so important and so you know i applaud them for that and i and i understand what they're trying to do and uh, muslims do have a place to go but these other persecuted minorities do not so india is making a home and they're not kicking out these other groups but they're just focusing on those persecuted minorities and that's why i'm here today to support the indian community my wife mary ann and i 
uh, we consider ourselves proud friends of the Prime, the Prime Minister Modi and, and uh, our, our Council General in New York and our, our uh, Ambassador in Washington. We're friends, we go everywhere, and we support the Indian community. And also, the other thing we need to say, we need to get that law passed to allow more Indians into the United States to work and to also have more freedom and flexibility. We need their talent, we need their time, we need their energy, we need that family structure that you guys represent. We have 